So, first let's go have a look. Because as you can see, everything's wet. It's starting to dry out now because, well, the sun's out. But everything got a good drinking last night. So pretty and healthy. My black Asian iris. Canna lilies are coming up. Let's see how much rain we got last night. Good morning. Thanks. So, so I came out and I took the bird netting off of this bed and I changed out the support stakes and the tomato plant. So this is the cherry tomato. I restake it. This is the beefsteak tomato. And I restaked it. And we have some tomatoes coming through on the bottom. It's got lots of flowers. This plant's very healthy and it's producing very well. I'm pleased with it. Parsley, eggplant, I think this was the Japanese eggplant, the jalapeno peppers. And over there are more jalapenos. There are the chilies. They haven't started producing yet. But I see little baby buds coming, so they're on their way. And these are the bell peppers. Oh, hello. Hello to the two of you. Hi, baby bells. Yeah, the bell peppers are coming in. And these are my sweet banana peppers. So they're coming in also. Oops, just knocked off a flower. Sorry. My onions and garlic. And my beautiful Thai basil. Isn't she so pretty? My dragon tongue beans are doing well. And then we have the strawberries that are still in the bird netting because we want to continue to protect those from the birds. They'll eat the fruit. The herb garden. This is comfrey. And these are comfrey flowers and they're so pretty. Aren't they pretty? The basil and the purple basil. 
thyme and sage, dill, chives. I also took the top off the Cherokee wax beans. And then the green beans, I took the bird netting off of these as well. The flowers are budding. They're going to be so beautiful. So pretty. You know these are edible. These are edible. And so are the leaves to them. It's like Nasturion. I know I'm mispronouncing the name. It's something like that. But those are edible. And they're very, like, um, spicy. But they're good. So, yeah, this is the flower garden. And this is for all my pollinators. I planted all of this. And so I'll give you a quick little look at my homemade fertilizer. So this is water, a combination of compost, which is decomposed food, leaves, grass, and the comfrey. And my garden loves this stuff. I make big five gallon buckets of it and after I water my garden or after it's deeply watered, I then fertilize. I fertilize when my soil or after my soil is wet, not when it's dry. And it stinks too, real bad. It smells like butt. Sewage water, but the plants love it. So I love it. <laughs> I didn't take the top off of my collards yet. I picked a lot of them though. I also harvested some kale. Butter crunch lettuces are beautiful and looking healthy. Probably be picking them soon. Making some chicken or fish wraps or tuna wraps or something. I planted more arugula because I ate all of that. Don't you guys love arugula? And then my little baby habanero. And then there's my black eggplant, the classic eggplant, the black round ones that you guys are used to seeing. And then look at there, Carolina Reaper pepper. That is the hottest pepper in the world. The absolute hottest pepper in the world. It's hotter than the ghost pepper. It's hotter than any pepper, habanero, any pepper. The Carolina Reaper is the absolute world's hottest pepper. And I'm growing it because I'm gonna dry it out and incorporate it into my chili powder because I'm going to dry it out and make powder out of it. It's way too hot to do anything else with. Maybe I'll sell some powders and some seeds. And so there's the garlic. Looking quite wonderful. 
and a beautiful marigold and some more lettuce greens and my red onions looking beautiful the garden's very healthy and productive <laughs>